Right now to our big story at five. It could be the first step in allowing hunters to take aim within city or village limits. Deer are causing some problems in Alloway, Ashwaubenon, and De Pere. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios is live in Alloway now with a story. Deandra? Casey, we're live outside Alloway Village Hall, and there have been a number of car deer crashes right here on this busy stretch of road recently. That's only one reason why these communities are considering a potential hunt and why they're doing an aerial survey of the deer population tomorrow. If you know where to look, it'll only take you a minute or two to spot deer in Alloway, De Pere, or Ashwaubenon. We're not talking one or two. We're probably talking up to 14 to 18 in a grouping. We found these near St. Norbert Abbey and more off Libel Street in Alloway. If we were to have a hunt, this could be one of the locations. The problem is the deer are causing crashes, eating landscaping, and even turning dangerous when domesticated. One near St. Norbert College had to be euthanized. It was a buck deer. And then as fall came around, its whole attitude changed. And that was a, that was a concern. Employees with Alloway, Ashwaubenon, and De Pere will be flying low in a helicopter on Friday with a private contractor to count the deer. Areas that we have identified that we know deer inhabit. Then they'll ask the DNR for recommendations. Possible options range from trapping to sharpshooters, a controlled hunt, or an unsupervised hunt. To help um, control the numbers so that the, the deer population that we do have is a healthy population. Now each community could choose to handle the DNR's recommendations differently and keep in mind they're still in the very preliminary stages of this. The survey is being paid for by a grant from the DNR. Reporting live in Alloway, Deandra Corinthios, NBC26.